Okay. Can you hear me? Let's see if you can hear me. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes, you can. Because my microphone is going through. We don't have any um, other stuff. Yes. So this is it. I, you guys are, are making great jokes. It's fine. Late, all of this stuff. But I'm, I'm so frustrated right now. I'm very grumpy. Very, very, very grumpy. So let's see if we can cheer my cheer myself up. Um, yes, my hair is wet. I haven't had time to dry it. Uh, cool. We are we're here. We'll see what we're doing. There's a lot of more setup that I wanted to do. I wanted to see if I could use a hard drive uh, version of the film that I could, so I wouldn't have to stream it at, at the same time. <sighs> yeah. Hot take, Lion King 1994 animated film sucks. One of the worst movies of all time. That's a take. And you know what? Whatever you want about it. It's one of my favorite movies in the world and nothing will change that. What's Waff Jacks? Okay. Oh, I, I, saw, I saw a bit of those, uh, like a hint of what that, that could entail. So enjoy. Uh, okay, what are we, I, I'm going to, look, the point is I, I didn't cancel. <laughs> I'm going to say that every stream. Okay, because I was ready to cancel. Just be like, look out for it next week. I'll have better prep, whatever. But you know what? We'll try this. Let's see how far we go. And let's see if I can um, if I can get something together. But in terms of intros, um, this is what's been going on today. Uh, things have been flooding in Dubai. Okay. I'm okay because I'm not on the ground floor. But it was hectic. It is the most hectic rain I've seen here. And I've been here for almost three years. So, yeah, that, that's, that's, that's my life now. Um, and then also I went to go, if I was a better wife, I would be cooking. But no, instead I had to go and get food. And the rest of my building had food, had to get food as well. We're all very lazy in Dubai. Okay. We don't cook our own food. So everybody was at the store. Everybody from up here was down there, and it was just just chaos. And I, I, I obviously am not good with crowds anymore. Can't do it. Are the palm tree islands still there? I'm not too sure. Um, let's have a look at, at Twitter. Just have a look at, at what I mean. Um, when, when, okay, so you know what happens in America when there's a snow day? Basically, that's what, hap what happens when it rains in Dubai. It's like, oh, my God. Uh, let's get here. Uh, hashtag Dubai. Uh, I'm going to get dinner burps. Rain better, worse than snow? Hmm. Or better than snow. Okay, so let me just uh, take this off so we can move stuff around. And let us go into smaller screen so you don't have to see my face. Go like this. Okay, and add here. Okay, so look, we do have cloud seeding in Dubai. That ooh, hello. That that does um that does happen, but I'm not too sure that cloud seeding was the reason that we uh that we have the floods we had today. Relax, okay? Shot chasers. So like, listen, relax. Okay, so man in Dubai bring bridging shit coins for cash. Shit coins for easy cash. Gonna make it for a what? Let's see. Oh, look at him go. Very, very innovative. Um, this was cool. 
So uh, it, look, it doesn't rain like this in Dubai. Okay, so well, it does clearly, but this and, and not yet. That is not a time lapse. So much lightning is happening. Great. I, I've never been okay, there's lots of lightning in, in Johannesburg in Gauteng when there's thunderstorms there, they call them high felt thunderstorms. Um but I've never been in a high rise during a storm. And it is kind of scary, I must say. This is this is basically what it looked like outside my window. Yeah. So this is not a time lapse. This is real. I've never seen this much lightning in my life before. Um. Oh yeah, this one was was circulating a lot. I don't. I I will just say that I don't know any of the indoor stuff. If any of the indoor stuff is real, because uh, it seems like a lot of the indoor. Uh, videos are from other times and whatever, but this one is definitely from today, this uh, airport one. Sorry, I'm going to my audio to be out of my speakers. So that's the international airport flooded. They were just like, you know what? We don't need um, drainage, I suppose. See, this is one I can't verify. Someone said it was from 2019. So I don't know about that. But look, this is the coolest one. This guy's stuff, all of Toby Cunningham's stuff. For the rain. I know, guys, it's just rain. I'm just, I know I'm spending a lot of time on this. But it's, yeah, everything is, hello, it's raining. This is the worst thing. Very no, no one and deliveries. This is quite crazy. And deliveries stop. Everybody's accidents happen all over the place. Uh, I know I've been past this building. That's that's it. Also, I can recognize these things now. Uh yeah. Uber Eats driver, true Chad, not gonna lie. <laughs> He's going. Uh yeah. And then the memes, obviously. So just listen, nobody is supposed to drive. Nobody can drive during this time. It's not a good idea. So anyway, that is why everything is turned upside down. I could have even canceled today because of that. That I could have even canceled because of that because it can cause so much angst. But anyway, um, do you feel similarly about the other Disney films of the time? Are you guys talking? Okay, you guys are talking. Dubai is so advanced, the airport doubles as a dock. <laughs> nice. Um, okay, I need to see how we're going to do this. So bear with me because um, I was going to figure this out before and I did not. It's the, it's the perpetual thing that I'm usually telling you. It's, we just – we – it's this or not or no stream okay what what would you like no stream i suppose okay so i'm gonna just see if there's one of those um full movie lion king 1994 full movie you know those ones where they put them on like a move a screen in the little side full movie 1990 and it's what it's it's a whole playlist uh, yeah. Bear not lying. Watching the movie and pausing off every fifty seconds. No. Okay. So you know what? Let me actually. That's a good. That's a good point. Uh, thank you for reining in my ADHD. So I will um get get the X mind up and I'll show you what I'm gonna do, and we'll actually do this without the movie initially because it will be fun that way. Okay. So the reason. The way that we're doing this is we're trying to figure out. Yeah. Hold on. Fuck's sake. The microphone is just going to be far away from, from me for a second. Okay. Um, cut saw. Uh, 
Uh, I'm going to get the xmind. So what the origin story of this is, um, what's the power like with a storm like that? Some people in some people have got no power at all. Um, Lion King a long time ago, still remember the, the one phrase, which phrase? Hakuna Matata. Okay, so um, that that's the thing. Uh, I, I'm we're going to start up, Ali and I are going to start up a uh, basically a, a book club po podcast thing. We're going to go and read Dune, right? And one of the things that we wanted to do with Dune, how does this relate to Lion King? Is that we wanted to uh, have have a, a diagram of the movies. And I'm like, I won't put Ali through that. I will try and put myself and everybody else through it to make, make, uh, make the diagram for the movies. And then we make them as a discussion point as part of as we we go along and read the books so that's what we're gonna do um and that made me think oh maybe my first die because the the reason um this is actually all um what's in it all your guys fault i'm just going to say that's why that says challenge accepted there if we go to my community page i'll show you why this is happening and you can get upset with jab because of it okay Present, and I'll show you. Frank Herbert is a strange guy. I'm getting used to the way that he writes. Okay. Um, here. So you see, I said, hey, give me a diagram challenge. And then jab. Okay, there are ones that I'm going to look at here. Even this one's is quite a good one. Diagram the diagram you're diagramming. Challenge accepted. I'm totally going to do that. But um, I'm going to... And also that one, very funny, darling, very funny. But here, Jab said, diagram the plot points of a movie to see how well it holds up or how many plots. I suppose you meant plot, um, plot holes or whatever. So obviously that would be cool. To, that that was one of the things I was going to do in any case about a, a film, um, a Wheel of Time series, all of that. So it's, it, it was, it's inevitable I was going to do that. But it was put in the challenge post. So technically I've accepted challenge. So that's why there is a challenge accepted on the thumbnail. So that's what we're doing. But instead of Dune, I'm going to start with Lion King because Lion King is basic, I should hope so. And we'll see how we can figure out the format so that I can then go and see what I'll do with Dune about it. So I was trying to figure out how am I going to do it because we just want the plot points. And then it came to me. <clears throat> so we start off with the plot points. Just do a diagram of the plot. And then if we wanted to, and I mean, that's difficult enough. Okay. And I'll show you, you'll see, because I'm going to do it and it's going to take forever. And you're going to be like, why are you doing this? Just, just see if I can do it. Okay. Put money on it. So, and I like bet. That's what I mean. Okay. So I'm going to do that. Um, I'm going to do just the plot points, but then what is possible is you, is you duplicate the map and then you put, on new layers of it and you go oh here is characters here is musical numbers here is this and that because i was thinking of how i'm going to diagram this particular movie and i was like geez there's so much you can put into it but considering that the, ch the challenge was plot points let's do plot points first and then let's see how he goes i look like a wet rat today thank you i i i, I think it works that that it's flooding in dubai and my hair is wet it's, it's wacky out there, guys. I had to leave. I had to swim. There you go. That's what I did. Um, oh, my gosh. Right, Calvin? I've never read. I don't think I've ever read a book that, that switches perspective so frequently. It it doesn't change lines. It does. It just, it's just, oh, yeah, I'm in this man. Yeah, I'm in this man. And I've only read, like, one, two chapters of the book. So I'm hoping that I will get used to that, that style. I give her three episodes, no more than Sitchin Adam versus. Uh, okay, let's see. It's a joke. <laughs> Wet kitty is cooler than warm slash dry kitty. Actually, I am, I am kind of cold now. But anyway, oh, and there's a freaking alarm that's been going off for the past hour as well. So there's that. At least I have electricity, though, guys. I'm very happy. Uh, I'm very happy with the way things have turned out. Okay, we will rebuild. 
that's uh, something Gordon said to me today. Okay. If we're hating on the Lion King, I'm out. We are definitely not hating on the Lion King. Absolutely not. But you know what? Marvel Marvel doesn't like it. I don't know if that was just like bait, but um, Extinction Wrestlers does not like uh, Lion King. I don't know how. I, I, I don't know who hurt them, but that that's the thing. So let's go to X-Mind. This is where we shall start our journey. So I will go. Oh, also, by the way, guys, uh, just um, how can you be cold in a desert? It's flooding out there, okay? It's, and I went swimming, you see? Look what happened. I was into the shop and I had to doggy paddle around there. So um, this is uh, for, for those of you who are listening to the No One Asked You podcast. Sorry for the lack of dark mode. I'll take it away. It's, but I'm going to diagram the, the spook dialogue at some point and try and figure out if I can figure out his, um, uh, his, the grammar of the Northern dialogue in Mistborn. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. But anyway, that was just a sneak peek. Sounds like South Africa. <laughs> infrastructure can't ha handle the rain you're getting. Yeah. I mean, infrastructure used to be able to, to handle the rain you got in South Africa. Can't escape it. Exactly. I'm getting like, flashbacks now no boar definitely hasn't been to a desert at night well in this desert at night does not get cold because we just got the sea right here it it's i've never really been <laughs> freezing kind of you know like in the waste kind of cold no okay so um dubai is always hot exactly um diagram everything wait we should have this is recently viewed Fine. Just can I just have a new one? Hello. Not recent. I don't want to recent. What is recent? I want to go to. Where is the? Can I have new stuff? Okay, just refresh. Let's see. I prefer the cold, but doesn't mean that. Uh, I've absolutely no. What's happened? Shared maps. Look at all the shared maps. Look, the debate diagram to uh, 18 is down there. Why is it not letting me do new stuff? Like it says new team. But where's my, can't I just do new? Is it because I'm sharing? I don't know. Just hold on. I'm trying to figure out if how I can create a new freaking. Uh, A new map over here. Why? Account settings? No. Am I? Have I used too many maps? I can't make a new one. Xmind. Dot works. Girls like cold because they get to wrap the, they're like, it, that is very true. That is very true. I've actually got a blankie. I'll go and get one. Just hold on. Yeah. Sorry, Eeks. Here we go. Live action Lion King isn't live action. Live action Lion King is an abomination. Okay, it should not exist. Okay, that's all I will say about that. We are not even gonna, we're not even gonna grace it with a comparison diagram. We are not looking at that. It's not worth looking at. That's what I think. Okay, I've started wearing cloaks. I've never watched the live, and um, I I have watched it once with my niece, and. And I was very sad that this is this was her exposure to the Lion King. Okay, this is still not working. X mind. I'm trying to get X mind up again properly. Stop going X mind AI. Recent. Fine. Can I? If I go here, what happens? Can I get, make a new one? New map. Fuck 
Pretty weird. I think they made some stupid um, changes to their, their CI. And it's gone. You see, I'm just grumpy today, okay? I'm not going to be happy with anything that happens. Okay. Uh, let's, to help with the grumpiness, let's just change the background color. Thank God. Eventually, we will. We will do a diagram, diagram, everything. Sure. Actually doing a Tuesday stream? Yes, indeed. Have you started on Fallout yet? No, I have not. Although, um, uh, Kevin, Kevin will, will, has probably, um, Kevin has watched it maybe three times by now. Uh, maybe you need a new haircut. That would be good. But, um, if we got the same haircut we got last time, we, new haircut works. New, as in completely new, as in not Stranger Things kid new. Maybe that can work. Okay. So, cool. What I want to do is we'll change this to... Shall we change it to a Lion King kind of coloring? Mm -hmm. Oh, when it goes colored branch, it gets all upset. Uh, what would Lion King is? Kind of like this. Yeesh, but why not that? Uh, okay, I think that's all we're going to get. Just hold on. I know this is fascinating. Okay, that's about it. We can. That's our Lion King one. Um, bring up, bring back the ten-year-old Chinese boy hair. That was the look. Yes, I know. I, I I'll, I've lost subscribers since my hair started growing. I'm surprised that Keanu is watching Shadow in Sonic because the first movie Sonic loved Keanu. <laughs> okay. Yes, bring back. Okay, cool. We're good. Yes, Barbara, I'll have the main character from Stranger Things look, and they're like, then they put a bowl over your head and they cut your hair. That's what they do. Okay. Um. So, diagram everything. Lion King. 1994. Okay. And what our structure will be is a uh, timeline because we're going to go plot. We go, we're going left to right. <clears throat> the long hair is working for you. Thank you very much. I'm trying. I am really trying. It's, it gets annoying. I, and as you can see, I don't spend time drying it because that's just, it's not a waste of time. It, it's good good for your hair that wasn't good for your hair it's not it's just you shouldn't do it all the time you shouldn't leave it just to dry like this all the time you'll end up with more body but no okay uh do you get a free bowl of soup with that haircut that's true that would be a great thing for for a rainy day you get the soup and then you, wait first you finish the soup then they take that bowl and put it on your head like i don't want i don't want the you know the soup I want the I want the bowl that I've had my soup in to do my haircut. I think straight hair the that way is attractive. Oh, well I don't have any other choice. My hair never curls. It it maybe does a wave or something, but otherwise no. Okay, product discussion will come after we do um the the movie diagram. Okay, cool. I don't know if you guys know how what that accent is. I think Noble would be quite familiar with it. Okay, so there we will have The Lion King. 1994. Okay, now what I wanted to do, uh, I wish I had Asian hair. Mine's much thinner than Asian hair. So um, you eat the hair they cut off? Oh, come on. <laughs> okay, anyway, here's no, it was Patrick's fault. It's Patrick's fault. Hair soup. He started it. Are we not here for fashion tips? Fashion diagram. Fashion diagram when um, we can ask Ali for that because um, I don't know anything about fashion. So, well. Okay, cool. So, the reason that I, uh, I, I'm i not fretting him initially yet about getting the movie up in the little screen or whatever is also because we're not going to watch the movie. We're going to literally go through because I know the movie really well we're gonna just have flashes we're gonna have like images that we get through 
uh, I'm, I'm going to turn off the audio and we're just going to like um, left and right uh, our way through it. Go frame, not frame by frame, but mostly, I don't know. We'll see. Okay, so we're going to fast forward through most of it because we are just doing the plot. And that's the in, that's the initial um, that's the initial goal of this is just getting the plot because I want there's so much I could do. There could be oh the first musical number and then we talk about the language in the musical number and oh and, and what is, what does this mean and oh there's so much that I wanted to do and I'm like no just go to the plot and then we will add more then we'll then we'll decide how we're going to do it so um, come with me on this journey of discovery. Uh, okay, so, and one of the fun things, I'm fun, I've decided it's fun. Um, uh, we, what we shall do is I'm going to try and do this from memory and see if I get it right. Because the last time I watched Lion King, I don't know, it must have been a couple of years ago. Um, but I, I watched that thing broken um, when I was a kid. So I kind of know it off my heart. And when my, my niece was watching the live action, I was like, that's not supposed to be here. This is supposed to be here. He's supposed to say this. Da, da. So I knew the movie, or like I know a lot of these movies like off by heart because I just watched them so many times. Um, but can I recall them from memory? Can I get all the plot points in the right order? Because as I was going through what I think this diagram is going to look like in my head, I realized I don't know which plot, certain plot points come in the right order. So I'm going to do what I think there are and you guys are not going to spoil it and or, or you're going to have votes for whether you're on my side or not and then we'll go into the movie and and check it out okay so let's see how much i can recall like what comes first okay so it starts off and then again as well one of the things i was wondering with a film diagram am i going to go scene by scene because i don't i'm not a film person okay i'm not i'm not even gonna uh, say, oh, this is the first act, this is the second act. I'm not going to do that stuff. Maybe we could, I suppose, if you wanted me to. I, I would, if you told, if you told me what the acts are, I'll go and put them in the diagram for you. But I'm not going to figure it out. I'm not going to go, hmm, this is the first act. Then the first act comes to a close. And I'm not going to do all of that because I'm just not smart enough. So we'll just do what happens. And I'm going to see if I can try just do at least, I, I was I was thinking like, I don't know the exact um, terminology of scene changes. Like I said, guess scene is the scene, the place that you're doing it. And then shots are within scenes, right? Cool. I don't know if I call about film. So I'm just, I'm just winging this and um, it's great. Oh, it's fast and allegory. Shush. And, and also it's, what, what Shakespearean play is it? Blah, 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 blah. Lion King. Okay, so let's see how we, we are going to do this. We're going to go uh, from the beginning, see which scenes I can bring out of my brain, okay? Okay, compare, no, we're not compare now. We first just do this one. If I says the true hero, oh, well, he's getting a freaking prequel. <laughs> do wonders ever cease? Okay, so there, there we go. So our first thing is, um, I also have very little knowledge of film, despite being a theater guy. Really? But I'm sure just because of your theater thing, you know the, the way the structure of it acts and how stories are told, storytelling, that whole thing. You've got that. Um, okay, I don't think we did Hamlet in school. Um, we did like Much Ado About Nothing. We did Romeo and Juliet. Uh, we did Othello, which... Oh, what, what, what did we do? Yeah, we did not do, um, I don't, I think, don't think we even did Hamlet. I don't know. I can try to help. Well, hopefully you, yeah, let's see. Um, I don't remember there being sperm salad in the Lion King. Sperm salad? I didn't put sperm salad in here. Okay, so yeah. Life's not fair, is it? That Exactly. Uh, okay. I could cosplay as Simone. Oh, I could with oh, I could totally do that. <laughs> okay, so I'm trying to think uh, in scenes. Okay, so and scenes as they are defined in my head, literally one area, not shots. Okay, because we could go per shot, but we're going per scene. Okay, so I'm now thinking what's going to happen. The first thing that happens is we've got the it's a circle of life. Okay, so 
what would we even call that just intro no um the, it's the beginning uh simba's simba's uh, presentation the, the presentation of simba i'm sure it's called that somewhere okay um so the presentation of simba happens and I'll, I could put in their musical number and things like that, but let's just go presentation of Simba. That happens. Circle of life. And then uh, maybe we'll even just say presented by Rafiki to the animal kingdom on Pride Rock. Okay. Ooh, ooh, capitalize. Whoops. I think he actually says the presentation of Simba. That's why uh, Mufasa says the presentation of Simba. Okay. Okay. So um, did they bother thinking about Simba's name? They just used Swahili words for characters. Yeah, they, they did. Simba, lion, Rafiki, friend. <laughs> Listen, look at look at uh, Tolkien's names. I saw a, a video about Tolkien's names the other day that he uses like, well, oh, he's a got it. He's got he's a tree man. And he's got a beard. Tree beard. Mm. <laughs> like some of those. It, it's pretty funny. There are a bunch of hobbits and they've got really big feet. And they're really proud of those feet. Proud foot. Mm. Like it, it was very cute. Okay, so presentation of Simba. So then we go, the next thing should be life's not fair, is it? So it, that's what I'm thinking it is. Yes, because it would close. We get close to black and we have the intro card or whatever, which is beautiful. It's always beautiful because it, it ends on this on this drum. Boom. And then it's the Lion King. That was just my childhood, man. Great. Okay. The Lion King in red. Um, and then we have life's not fair, is it? And I think... Um, the whole speech would be given by David at this point. So um, we'll have intro to just a scar. I don't know. <laughs> Wait until you look into the symbolism of everything. Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so um, scar. Uh, well, we're meeting scar. Scar monologue. Let's go scar monologue. Okay. And it, I know that this is a scene, This he has the monologue, and it's in the same area, it's the same scene, but just going to the, and it's not a plot point exactly, it's, we just meet him, um, that's where he, he eats the, 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 the uh, what well, he tries to eat the mouse, um, then uh, Zazu comes along, so we get Scar's monologue, whoopsie, Zazu's monologue, then uh, Zaz, uh, Zazu's monologue, Zazu's arrival, so there has that and an impeccable timing, your your majesty, which is a great, great, great uh, joke. I enjoyed that. So that's the thing. That's part of what I was like, oh, now I'm going to diagram that. I'm going to diagram each key joke. Well, I have key jokes, a little key joke plot. I'm like, stop. Just say what happened. So Zazu arrives. Zazu arrives. Well, announces, let's say, announces. Mufasa. Then my one of my favorite things, Scar, drop him. Really great. Um, and then, then it's the who is Zazu? Do you not so Sokav. Zazu. Zazu is the is the 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 his major dodo. <laughs> uh, it's the king's major dodo. Uh his his the hornbill. Kings don't need advice from little hornbills for a start. This thing here. If this is where the monarchy is headed, count me out. You completely forgot about Zazu. Oh my goodness. Stop. That's a horrible. You know what? It's okay. The Kasuku toucan. No, he's not a toucan. He's a hornbill. Um he's a hornbill okay that's it and i relate get it okay so uh zazu announces mufasa 
then my whole life is a lie. <laughs> you know, he's a, he's a hornbill. And this is what they look like. This is another thing I was going to like, oh, should I, should I add this to the diagram? Zazu, real life. This is actually what a hornbill looks like. Uh, they, I think they put the, co the color in. But this is what a usually the horn, hornbill that I would have seen as a kid would be. This is hornbill. So let's see what Ka Kasuku. What? That's what it, I get. Oh, Kasuku bird. No. Why, why would it? Bing photos are really bad. Like the Bing searches is not good. It just gives me parrots. Is that what a, a parrot means? Is that parrot? Okay. Um, let's go back to the diagram. <laughs> Zazu voices Mr. Bean. No way. Okay. He sings about coconuts. I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. There they are. And you get what's in a row bomb. Okay. Listen guys. So, you know, that's another thing when we do, um, karaoke in the discord it's going to be disney themed i've decided so if you guys want to do other stuff where you do abba and all of that no you go and do that and your anime songs and things do it cool have your own night we're doing when i do karaoke we're doing disney so that's what's happening okay i guess Yago from aladdin overrode memory of zazu oh okay yeah that makes sense Standing in a row. Jesus, Kitty. Exactly. Standing in a row. See, that's what I'm saying. We've we, we got to see what I'm wrong about here. Announces Mufasa. Then they, they argue. Um, uh, Mufasa. Conference. Uh, scar. About not being at the presentation. Uh, okay. And then they kind of argue and break up um and oh god there was even other things that i was going to put in about like little things that my brain thought like there is um look we'll see we'll just we'll see why do you use bing instead of something like star page or duck, duck? because i'm in edge already so i'm just like just whatever hey benjamin okay so the presentation of simba he, he said bad back you know or something he wasn't gonna go he wasn't gonna be there or something i think he says that to simba never mind um uh for something no he does say no he says it to Mufasa he says he wasn't there for, he, because he's getting old or whatever and he's got a bad back and that's why he couldn't have gone that's what I think okay so we'll be there then what happens see this now is where I'm like what happens next do what okay so I'm thinking actually this one I'm not too unclear about we have um Simba wakes up where are the hyenas? <laughs> not yet, not yet. Okay, so Simba, um, Simba wakes up. Uh, Simba a little bit bigger, is a little bit older. What do we even say? Simba, wait, Simba. Oh well, learns about the kingdom. Let's do, talk about it that way. About the kingdom. So he goes like, he goes, dad, dad, dad. I love that freaking, oh, and another cool joke, another cute joke. Um, the sun, oh, what's it? Um, your sun's up oh, uh, before the sun rises. He's your son. That's such a cute joke. Okay, anyway, uh, Simba learns about the kingdom. Um, then... Uh, that and well, that's but for actually not. I'll just say Simba wakes his dad up and then, because that is like the the cute little. It's a little scene and then they go on to the top of Pride Rock, which I'm always like, how the hell did they get up there? Okay, cool. Need to watch Lion King on full blast, guys. I, I listened to the the um, soundtrack a little bit beforehand, so I was like, that's cool. Okay, uh, Simba um, learns about Simba wakes. 
Okay. Oopsie, just move you there. Come on, just listen. I thought this was going to... There we go. Good. Okay, learns about the kingdom. And then he learns about the shadowy place. So plot point there is that he learns about... Um, about the, that beyond the pride lands um am i forgetting a term for it I, I think i'm forgetting an actual term for it which i'm very ashamed of but okay that's the point okay let's go the meme place <laughs> okay so it learns about the shadowy place um then he got now i see this is my i'm like does he go now does he go to um does he go to scar i think he does he goes to scar now then he goes simba this no then see that's the thing ah oh, this is where I'm, I'm i'm i don't know okay so this is it does he he learns about the kingdom then he walks with his dad he learns about the the circle of life no circle of life is the circle of life at a se separate time see I'm, i don't know elephant graveyard yeah i think so uh well actually no he he learns that from scar okay simba learns about i think it is the circle i think it might be the circle of life i'm not sure if that's when it happens okay it's the, we have to put something down to be corrected then he goes to because I, I i might i'll say here might be mistaking for his lecture later okay and that is where this stupid morning report happens and that is not i know that it's in the in the stage play or whatever but in the movie it was not in the movie originally and it didn't need to be in the movie originally and then when it came to dvd they decided to add it's the morning report and all this no no not a thing the way it was in the movie house on my and on my vhs that's the way it was that's the way it's supposed to be the morning report can get in the seat okay and yes cool enjoy it if it's on stage but not in my movie it was perfect the way it was okay the stage was objectively worse okay okay so simba learns about the circle of life then then i think he goes to scar because his dad his dad goes, look, we get the first thing of hyenas in the Pride Lands. In the Pride Lands. Hyenas in the Pride Lands. And um, Simba wants to go and help his dad. But he can't. I'm putting caps lock on instead. And say Simba can't. Simba wants to help dad. but not loud okay and then oh we also get the mangy uh you can you can uh you can this is because the line comes back he, I, I don't know I, I i just want to put it in here the mangy mange you can chase those mangy things from dawn until dusk chase those and this is not a, a plot point okay shut up you're just trying to say stuff that you know okay but anyway it says until dawn until dusk cool 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 um simba learns about the circle of life cool then he goes to scar simba goes to scar blu-ray can play it with it without that abomination also oh that's great hi lucifer uh, i'm i've been a bit grumpy because of the rain and things but actually, I was very happy about the rain initially. But yeah. Okay. Shopping. Uh, dropping a, off a load of firewood and got more to go. Chop that. Woo. Okay. Simba goes to Scar. Whoopsie. Okay. Um, learns about the elephant graveyard. And uh, only the bravest lions... lines go there and uh told not to okay he says yeah sure i won't go then he goes to get nala 
right. Some of that goes to get Nala. And, and she's in the bath when he goes. And that is a very cute scene as well. Um, let's see if I can remember the, the mom's name. The, they were, I remember I used to pride myself, <laughs> pride myself on um, knowing the lion's names. Okay, so Simba goes to Nala. And then, oh, as long as he takes, a, well, Nala and Sarabi. And then she goes, as long as you take Zazu with you. Because he said, no, he's going to go, wants to go around the waterhole. Okay, so I'll just say, actually, okay, over here. Um, goes around the waterhole. And then she goes, ah, the waterhole? What's so great about the waterhole? I love that. Okay, around. Okay, and bring uh, Zazu with. Zazu has to accompany. Okay. Uh, they then also found out as they're walking, they found out that they are affianced. Nala and Simba and Nala find out they are betrothed. Then, um, I can't marry her. She's my friend. That's great. Okay. Hi, Mix and Match. Good to see you. It's been a little while. Okay. Um, Simba and Nala find out they're betrothed. Okay. And then, then they, they formulate a plan to lose uh, Zazu. Lose Zazu through the... I just can't wait to be king thing. Okay. Oh, he's under a rhino by the end of that. Okay. Zazu's trapped under a rhino. Okay. Um, then Nala and Simba, Simba and Nala stumble into the elephant graveyard. Graveyard. And then they are discovered by the hyenas. Discovered by the three hyenas. So now wait. Yeah, okay, that's fine. They stumble, they fight, okay, cool, uh, are discovered by the hyenas, and then um, Zazu, Zazu appears as well. Um, Zazu catches up to Simba. Nala in trouble. Okay, and then stumble. Okay, look, look, they roll. They roll. Roll into. Roll into the thing. There's Simba Nona in trouble. Then um, eventually Mufasa comes. Mufasa saved today. Okay, well, there's the chase. Okay, so there's the chase scene. Nala, Simba and Nala are chased. Zazu are chased. And then big hero Mufasa comes in and um, and saves them. Saves the day. Then we have you deliberately disobeyed me. Oh, so good. Okay, the uh, saves the day, hyenas run off. Okay, then we've got you deliberately disobeyed me. Oh yes, we have Zazu go takes Zazu takes Nala home, and then we've got which would be a subplot point, but whatever. We're going. Come on, 
um, movie portrays the correct Louis the Five as the leader one. Yeah, I love that. Um, and also correctly that actually not uh, not correctly that uh, Scar and Scar and um, and Mufasa would actually rule over the pride together as brothers. Not it's not usual that a brother will come uh, in and kill another brother in order to take over the pride. If they're not related, that's when the they will be they'll come in and they'll kill the cubs and they'll kill the other male lion but i guess you could be like oh well they 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 from different litters so one is is older than the other and that's why they want to kill each other even though they're brothers yeah. hans zimmer never updated his lion king score hans zimmer is going to perform in dubai so I am going to go and see that. And he apparently he's going to perform uh, his orchestra. And he's going to have some of the Lion King numbers there. Uh, Zazu takes Nala home. Uh, then uh, uh, Mufasa, I'm not going to say berates, lectures, disciplines. Discipline Simba. And then he also goes... tells Simba about the kings, kings of the past. Okay. I mean, that would be in the same sort of plot, the same sort of scene. Um, and then fly me to Dubai. Yeah. I've got all the monies. Where's, where's, um, where's J-Mac? You can fly you here. Yeah. Okay. Mufasa just, uh, disciplines in Simba. Mufasa Sim tells Simba about the kings of the past. Um, oh yes, also he learns about being brave. Isn't about um, like not being afraid or, or, or fighting all the time. Simba learns what being what being brave is about. Uh, his dad was scared of him, uh, scared, scared of him, scared of losing him today. And that was, that was fear and whatever. Let me play amongst the stars. Also want to add James Earl Jones voice, bring out so much authority and responsibility that it's sad to hear him in the live action remake where he sounds so weak. Yeah. Um, listen, live action. Re it's just not, uh, I, I don't even, I, I, did they actually put James Earl Jones in the live action too. Okay. I don't even remember because I hated it so much. Okay. Uh, Beyonce was Nala, wasn't she? I mean, come on. Okay. So like, it's, it's like you, you just like, that's Beyonce instead of that's the character Nala. You got to think of the, not the, they're an animated, they're not real. Anyway. Um, Mufasa discipline Simba. Then I think, then I, uh, I now this is another another part where I'm like nee, might be wrong um he goes to or he has to wait he he's um oh yes because there was there was sorry during this this um during this uh this chase uh Simba tries to roar. Um, and then it, then it, then it turns out to, to be, um, to be his dad. Okay. And then, um, okay. The next thing, this is where it's murky. The next scene is supposed to be, uh, somehow we be getting into the gorge. He's waiting for, um, Oh, well, I guess we get be prepared now. I suppose we get be prepared. So we go, we cut to, we go to Scar. Scar's, Scar um, talks to, Scar gives um, a zebra haunch to the hyenas. He practically gift wrapped those, those cubs for you. Um, and 
No, it wasn't even like they was alone, Scar. What do you expect us to do? Kill Mufasa? So th they, there, I think that's where we get to. Um, and he goes precisely. Um, I think it's it's Ed. No, not Ed. Sid. What are their names? We'll figure them out again. Um, but yeah, uh, what's uh, Scar gift wrapped? the cubs for them and they failed um they weren't alone should are they supposed to have killed supposed to have killed mufasa and then he goes precisely and then he gets does that great number okay i'm putting that there and then he goes here and he goes be prepared so that's his um we'll be prepared for the death of the king is what is he sick no we're gonna kill him no fool we're gonna kill him and simba too great idea who needs a king no king no king na, 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 na. and then Idiots, there will be a king. I will be king. Stick with me. Blah, blah, blah. See, I just know it. My takeaway of the stream is that we need Kitty to dub the entire movie. Exactly. <laughs> oh, you know what? Uh, that's what we'll do. That's because I'll turn off the I'll turn off the music. I mean, I'll turn off the audio. And let's see how it goes. Okay, so be prepared happens. Um okay, be prepared. Uh Scar reveals his plan. Is playing and it's such a good song and you know what i would love to compare it next to the, what happens in zero's song in lion king 2. so that is another <laughs> release the kitty dub uh so that that is another thing that i want to do is put um do do lion king 2 and actually even if it's just those two songs look at the structure of the songs and the structure of the scenes that that is done comparing um his evil song to Zira's evil song and if you don't know who Zira is what are you doing here hmm? what 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 kind of nineties child were you oh you weren't a nineties child okay sorry oopsie okay so um be prepared Scargill's plan then it's the gorge thing this is what I'm thinking Scar's is singing voice was Jim Cummings really no way I, I thought it was um um what's the name jeremy irons because it does sound like jeremy irons so that's very well done if it's jim cummings sounding like jeremy irons i suppose that okay um of course pr pr quo and i mean because a lot of it is talking anyway be prepared it sounds like him Anyway, that's really well done to make them sound very similar then to get them make it so that there's no that you don't really feel the change between the two. Maybe I'm just but my brain has that that's seared onto my brain man. you can probably see this diagram in there. I did a mashup of zero song two weeks ago. It's so good. Oh, we'll go and have a look at that. Just don't copyright claim us. <laughs> zero song is amazing. Okay. Um, Scar is gone, but Zira is still around. Oh, there's actually, you can even hear that she did, the, the actress acting this out did the lick that she's supposed to do when, um, when she, in, in, in the movie, the, um, she licks, uh, what's her name? Kovu. She loves this little lad lick. And you can actually hear the, the, voice actor's mouth <laughs> okay anyway sorry i just love these movies i did a mashup yeah anyway cool cool, cool. so be prepared scar reveals his plan uh gorge asimba is waiting in the gorge meets simba meets uh scar in the well is waiting for scar in the oh no no scar does come and say i'll be right back i think simba meets i'll say meets scar 
in the gorge. I think, what is the reason? He does say he's going to show him something or whatever. And then he's like, going to mispractice his raw. Uh, Simba practices his, his roar at a lizard as at a uh, as a um, chameleon. Is that okay? Anyone seen Peterson's take on the Lion King? Uh, I don't know if he's. Uh, I might have seen him much long, very long ago um about the hero the hero's journey and basically the fact that he goes away from responsibility and then then faces his responsibility by the end of the movie and the the woman brings him back to that pretty cool okay uh at a lizard causes causes a stampede Okay, we could say the hyenas caused the stampede. And that one of the greatest cinematic moments of the movie, he um he does oopsie, he the the wildebeest all come down and then the gnus, I suppose, is the American term for them. Um then uh Scar goes to Sim to, goes to Mufasa. Mons, uh, says oh, tells Mufasa that Simba is in the gorge. Also knocks uh, knocks out um, Zazu. Okay, and then Simba's on a tree. Oh God! Oh, oh, guys, just the oh. Da, 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 da. I mean, Jeremy did sing it first, but then he threw his voice at, and Jim continued. Here's the switch moment. Okay, cool. Thanks, darling. Uh, let me tell you, Bucko, Simba a bitch, and Scar was a true king lobster. Anyone's the yeah, none. Okay, so Simba, um, Simba is clinging to a tree. Climbs up a small tree. Uh, then Mufasa. Okay, so that well, let's say Simba. Simba Mufasa rescues rescues Simba. So in in that Simba and in that he will. And in that he goes, not enter, tab. He's uh, on a tree, Simba, on a tree. Um, Mufasa jumps down. And gets him, takes him. Throws him to the side. Him to safety. And then uh, whew, long live the king happens. Basically, Mufasa climbs up to asks Scar. Actually, no, I'll be like, let's do that. Let's break it into Mufasa rescues Simba. Mufasa dies. Or Scar kills Mufasa. And it's oh God. It just I, I don't even need to see this movie again. It's just it's oh so emotional. <laughs> Screwed into them. Yeah, you can hear the epic score. It's just so good. Uh, it's it's just brilliant. I, I'm actually probably I'm probably gonna cry just from the music. <sighs> okay. Scar kills Mufasa. Evening, ladies and gents. Hello, Fawful. Uh, we are diagramming the Lion King. So. Uh, so yeah, there we go. We've got Scar kills Mufasa, um, and it's it's uh, what's it? Scar uh, Mufasa gets to the ledge, asks Scar for help. 
Scar. And we go long live the king. King Mufasa falls to his death. Okay, and then we've got um, it, what we're what we're currently doing is to see if I can get the plot points from my head. Okay. Um, because there are some things that I think uh, were murky, I, I, I blended scenes together and things like that. So I'm just trying to see if I get it correct. Um, yeah, so, oh gosh, we actually are, we are not even that far in. We're, we're like maybe halfway through, not even halfway. Um, okay, Scar kills Mufasa, and then, uh, then we have the, uh, Simba goes to Mufasa's body. Body. And that is one of the most the saddest. If, if, a, if grown men don't cry at that moment, I just don't understand that they are psychopathic. Okay, Simba goes to his body, gets that big paw over him. He lies there. And, oh, God. And I had, I had a silly thought. That, see, my diagram at some point will feature silly child chinsia thoughts. There's a one. There's one wildebeest that runs past. It's like a leftover from the from the the uh the stampede and remember when this movie came out i was three okay but i remember distinctly at some point going that's the doctor <laughs> i remember thinking that that's the doctor one that can't that wildebeest help how can't that one help simba's dad so that's what my little mind did Okay, and there's little moments like that across the whole movie that I just have these memories of what I thought were what was going on. It's so, so weird. Okay, uh, Simba goes to Mufasa's body, the doctor goes past, and then um, uh, then we've got the um, Scar, uh, Scar uh, blames, well, tells Simba, it's his fault. Okay, and then he exiles him and exiles him. Run away and never return. Is that how you spell exile? No. Him. And then he goes, kill him. And we go, Scar sends to you. Um, Scar sends hyenas to chase after after Simba. They fail. Uh, they fail and and say and say they'll kill him if he comes back. I think now this is the, these little things that this is where I, I get murky. I think we then go to um, like the, the the lions finding out that Simba, that Mufasa and Simba are dead. The pride Mufasa oh, is or Scar tells the pride Mufasa and Simba are dead introduces the introduces the reign of the cactus but yeah i <laughs> uh, love that um introduces the the reign of uh hyenas what does it say the age of hyenas or a new era the dawning of a new era introduces the era of the hyenas and then um yeah then the, the all very goose that then we go to uh simba passed out in the desert i suppose is found by if, or if Simba is found, passed out. Jesus, a lion! 
in the desert by Timon and Pumbaa. Okay, uh, they, they then they wake him up and we have Hakuna Matata. Uh, Simba learns to eat, to eat grubs and grows up. Here we go. Uh, grows up <laughs> or years pass or whatever. Axel. Um, I don't think we return to the Pride Lands yet, do we? I just need to let Axel into the room, BRB. Just have a look at this beautiful block. noises as well just the audio of the the, the the cactus piece thingies hitting ed in the nose or whatever in the nose okay uh simba learns yes and he grows up what comes after that oh they're sleeping i think no yes okay that they're, they're asleep this is this is we got to see if she gets this right so um then they're lying in the grass Simba lays in the grass. Or does do they see the thing is I'm wondering, do they meet the does do they see Nala first? I don't think they do. Because Rafiki starts coming after. Uh, Rafiki finds out that Simba's alive just by his scent as he lays down. And this usually happens, that usually, this is what, in my mind, this happens, that lying down image happens after he walks away from Puma, Timon and Pumbaa, who made a joke about the stars. So um, we've got lays in the grass, and then Simone, uh, well, the three they discuss of the origin of the stars and we've got um timon with you everything's gas pumba with you everything's gas everything's gas um well i mean he doesn't say it timon says it to him he goes balls of gas burning billions and millions of miles away and then it's then uh, timon so Timon is fireflies that got stuck up on that big bluish black thing. Fireflies. And then uh, Simba tells his one, Simbo tells his one, and it's the great kings of the past. And then they laugh. And he gets, uh, they laugh at his answer. And he walks off. and lies down okay and now the his scent is carried to rafiki and there's another one of the quirky things that have that my, my brain did it went um my, my little because it he he rafiki gets the scent the scent does that like colors of the wind kind of thing with you can see that his scent goes from when he lies down it's feathers and dust and whatever and then it goes through to rafiki in his tree and he catches it out of the air and puts it into a like a um 
tortoise shell and mixes it around. And and my little child brain said, okay, he's reading the newspaper. <laughs> That's the newspaper. It's like the, the the jungle newspaper. That's what he did. And he's seeing the news there. So that's what my little child brain did. And I don't know why I remember how I framed it. I think it was because once I did realize, oh, Chinsia, it's just the scent. Relax. That, I, that's stuck in my mind. If you have any of these sort of moments in your head, please do let me know. Um, he's alive. He sounds so happy. It's contagious. It's not to join in with his happiness. Exactly. Uh, it's and 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 the way oh oh another another quirk thing is from the ceremony um you know that they, they, they basically anoint him with that like the uh the, the fruit the sap thing they anoint it and as a little kid i was like that's going to turn into his into his mane <laughs> so um and the way that he he gives him a mane and whatever it's like he's alive and he's big and he's grown oh, i love it um and he goes mad so the scent scent is uh uh, and the, I just have the music, don't you mix? Don't you have the music uh, that that comes that like sparkles, or whatever? When he first picks up the like, you see his hand grab the 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 dust and stuff, and he brings it down, and you have the the, the music there. Oh God, it's great! I can't wait to see this live. I hope they do a lot of Lion King live, um, just in terms of the score. Okay, so scent is carried. That's in the scent is carried to um to Rafiki he is Baobab that's so good and um there I'll say well actually Simpa's scent so Simpa's scent is is I'll put that actually as part of this and then Simpa <laughs> Simpa scent is into the wind and then it goes Simba sent uh, is uh, travels to Rafiki in his tree and we'll go he's alive that'll be this one here he's alive the king has returned Oh God, that's lovely the way he does that. Um, gives him a main. Oh, there, there was that. Oh, that's why we need to go back. We need to go back. I just remembered something because that 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 uh, picture of of Simba was um, when that when they Scar tells Simba it's his fault and excels him, and then they Scar Hainas. Uh, where the the pride the pride also mufasa i mean not mufasa a rafiki scratches out um smudges um simba simba's picture on his tree that happens and then um then obviously here yeah, that that he uncovers it and gives him the the um the main again rafiki gives him a main because he's grown up okay and grown okay and he's uh, i suppose he's i don't know if i don't think we we don't really get him set setting off i don't think so he grabs a stick i don't i don't know um, I don't think we see him like set off to go to, to Simba. Then, um, we go to, uh, it might be, do we go straight to Nala meeting Nana, Nala? Yeah, I think we might. I think we might. Okay. Uh, I could be wrong. I might've moved the Nala meeting to, uh, before um, another point where we go and see uh, Sarabi being hit. Sarabi, wait. Oh, we're not Sarabi being hit, the the, um, the hyenas. That kind of actually happens when we get 
Yeah, that's later on. Anyway, let's see. The point is that we're trying to get the movie out of my head and see what I get wrong. I think we have to give me a mark out of how many points I missed. Um, we'll take that out. So we start with 100 and then if I minus, uh, minus every point that I got wrong. Okay. Uh, no, thank you. Okay, then stop tabbing and enter. Okay. Simba, Saint Travel Sorofiki, it's three. Then I think we Nala hunts. Um, okay, well, first of all, let's go um, Simone. Hunt for grubs. Hunt for grubs. And then Nala. Hunts to uh, Pumba chasing shoes. No, no, darling. No, that is not it. No, 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 no. Don't, don't come and dirty this movie up. Okay, Nala hunts Pumba, uh, chasing shoes. And then uh, underneath here we have Simba. Simba saves saves Pumba. And then Nala recognizes recognizes Simba. And then can you feel the love tonight? And that's still not going to be a dirty thing, darling. Very innocent movie. And I know, I know you guys are going to go on about Nala's eyes. Okay, Nala recognizes Simba. Um, uh, we'll, we'll put this in here. Uh, uh, Simone and Pumba meet. Meet. Um, and Pumba meet Nala. Okay. And then, uh, can you feel the love tonight? I wasn't referencing that scene, but earlier. Yeah. Can you feel the love? Gonna have to head off to work. Have, have a fun stream. I'm already having a fun stream. Thanks, Mix. Um, we'll go and check out your Zero mashup. Uh, can you feel the love tonight? Okay. Um, Simba and Nala reunite. United. Reunited and it feels so good. Okay, so they do that. But then uh, from that, Nala asks Nala expects Simba to come back to the Pride Lands. Uh, Simba refuses. And they argue. Okay. Now, another one that I could be getting wrong. They argue. Then Simba is, Simba is walking off and storm st Simba Simba storms uh, bumps into Rafiki while pacing while storming off Nala and then he gets uh, Rafiki shows Simba how to speak with his father. Uh, then we have the vision, and I love the music of of the of Simba following. He's alive, and and Simba following Rafiki. Um, and then we go. He lives in you, and you know what? One of the greatest songs. Uh, Disney songs is in uh, Lion King 2 
uh, that he lives in you. Oh, so good. That is the intro song of, of the Lion King 2. And, and if you haven't watched the Lion King 2, uh, why? Why? We watched we watched VHSs, man. And that was straight to VHS and it was great. Okay. Um, he lives in you. And then we have the vision. Simba has vision of Mufasa. Mufasa. And what it is, it's don't forget who you are, Simba. Because I don't watch Disney sequels. Well, you better watch that one, okay? Because you have to know the songs for the karaoke. Because we are doing Lion King 2 songs like you can't believe in the karaoke. Okay. Simba has, I've never to this day seen a Lion King sequels or remakes or stage plays. Listen, you have to see Lion King 2 and Lion King 2 and a half. It's funny, two and a half, but I'm just saying like you should, the, you just need to know the songs at least of Lion King 2 and a half, but the song, but, but the actual movie of Lion King 2, just do yourself a favor, David, do it. They're good. Simba has a vision of Mufasa. Um, as vision of Mufasa, uh, he, he, don't listen to me. I did. I did. I, I will listen to you again. Listen. You watch it. Now, you can even turn the stream, stream off. Oh, you know what? No, no, it's fine. You know what I'll do? I'll freaking do the exact same thing for, um, for Lion King 2, and you will be here for it. And you will not experience it the way you should have experienced it visually with the actual music and think, no, 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 you'll experience it through my diagram. That's how you figure out what it is. Is that how you're going to do it? Okay. Chins's favorite movie. Exactly. Exactly. I'm busy arguing with someone about, about the sequel being, okay. Listen. You listen, David. Okay, so Simba has a vision of Mufasa. What does Mufasa say? Don't remember who you are. Who you are. My son and uh, the future king of Pride Rock. Mufasa's son. King of Pride Rock. Okay. Then he speaks to... Simba speaks to Rafiki. Oh, damn it. I haven't put, um, haven't put in pertinent points here in terms of when he meets, um, Timon and Pumba. Uh, you got to put your pa past behind you. There is, you got to put your behind in the past. Simba, Simba is taught that you need to put to put your past no worries is the way the way mean no worries for the rest of your days okay and then over here he has to face his past so uh rafiki says you can he hits him with, with oh my past or whatever my past is is uh Simba learns that he can either uh hide from his past i think it's hide you can either the past can't hurt but you can the past learns that the past hurt the past can hurt the past can't hurt but he can learn from it. Uh, I will say Rafiki demonstrates this with by hitting him over the head. Okay, with his stick, and uh, I love it when you go, no, I'm not this stick! Um, cool. Hmm. Wait, I, I do want to say when Simba bumps into it, it's uh, I will say Sante Sana, squash banana. Uh, 
uh, it means you are a baboon and I'm not. Uh, so that was there. Um, then speaks to Rafiki. Then awesome scene of, of Simba running back to the pride lands. Oh wait, no. Yes, he does. Runs back to the pride lands. I think he does. Pride lands. Awesome. Awesome. One of the best bits of the, the score. Oh, I love it. Um, runs to the pride lands and then uh, he gets, he, he's running there. No. No, I might be getting this wrong, guys. I might be getting this wrong. Because Simba speaks to Rafiki. Does, he doesn't run straight after there. I think he goes to look for Nala. Um, what does he do? Oh, my gosh. You see, later on in the movie, my, my interest, not my... What happens hold on come on i need to have i need to have a snack i can't give up though we're almost at the end i think i'm going to get about like an 80 percent on this okay snack break and you're going to hear all of this us wrestle because why not? It's ASMR. It's such shit. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm still trying to figure it out. Cause that, does that really happen when you run in? Okay. Mm -mm. This happens after. Somehow we go back to Nala. Or Simba. Nala wakes up. Looking for... See, the cracker helped. Uh, looking for... Simba? <laughs> Sorry, I need to eat another thing because I've, I've lost track. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rafiki. And says, the king has returned. Nala, Timon, Pumbaa, follow Simba. Simba runs back to the Pride Lands. Awesome song. Let's put this out. Shout out to the song. Okay. And the reason that I remembered that having to be, because that's how the landscape changes, is that he's running and you have him in slow motion and he's on the sand and then eventually he gets, the sand is all golden and then he gets to the pride lands and you can see this, everything is just gray and whatever. Okay. Um, okay. Um, sees the change in the pride dance and is joined by Simba, by Nala, Timon, and Pumba. Okay. Um, they look at they have to have a plan i think that's when we go to the 
um, scar scene. Um, where he beats up the hyenas. I think. Uh, scares off hyenas. I don't know if that comes earlier in the movie, but anyway. Um, we see he has Zazu in a cage to sing to him. Okay, I think that's it. I don't know if that that could be moved towards when we are when we see Nala. So I don't know. Um, then. Then we get the Sarabi. Uh, Symbases, I think. Symbases. One of the best things is the way she walks up there. And then he sneaks up. Sneaks up to her and says, Gosh, now this is very difficult. The actual actual battle to diagram the battle i don't think i'll be able to do the switch between each fight scene i don't think i'll get them in the right order but hey let's see mm. mm -hmm. so call is right be called up by scar and hit slap Simba intervenes. Simba appears. Um, and we even have Scar thinks Mufasa thinks he's Mufasa. Scar thinks Simba is Mufasa. Come on. I don't think that's a major plot point, but whatever. I just have it in my head. There. No, you're dead. Um, and so does initially. And then, um, then he goes, oh, it's Simba. Scar sees Simba is alive. I'll say that. Actually, Scar realizes that Simba. No Scar. Simba is alive. He looks at the, um, the hyenas, um, and they hide. Then Simba is alive. So blame. So reminds him. And everyone else, and the prod that he killed his father, Mufasa. And then, liar! Uh, and then the fight ensues, I think. But I, th uh, I think before this, sorry, I think before this we had the. Um, I think we have we have uh, the inter the not the intervention the distraction. Dra what do you want me to do? Dress and drag and do the hula, and he does it. Simone <laughs> dresses in drag and does the hula. Um, I want to see if I if I oh god, that's another one that are you hungry? Are you hungry for a hunk of fat and juicy meat? Me eat my buddy Pumba here because he is a treat. Come and done done. On this taste of wine, all you gotta do is get in line. Are oh, you aching for some bacon? He's a big pig. You could be a big pig too. Oh, so I think that's when where it is. Um, I'm dressed the hula to distract the hyenas. I think that's before. I think I made one more money working out eight hours after taxes. Life is silly. <clears throat> 
if you can make that happen, I'm very, I'm, wow, I'm very envious. Okay. Um, cool. Go, go back there. We are at there. Pratt Hughes killed the Mufasa. Simba. <laughs> uh, Simba. I, I just don't get the, the first part right. I, I, it's such a tongue twister. So I, I need to practice it a little bit more. Uh, Scar realized blah, 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 Simba. Um, uh, Simba conference Scar says it's an accident. An accident. And then the fight ensues. Fight! I think that could go down here. It doesn't have to be. Yeah. Come here. Go down. It doesn't want to go where I want it to go. There you go. Uh, Simba, then what do we have? $42 an hour. Nice. Um, well, I say nice because dollars are great. Uh, Scar realizes Simba is alive, so reminds him and the pride that he killed his father. Then the fight ensues. Fight between Scar, Scar, and Simba. And then also the fight between... Hyenas and lions, I suppose. Um, Simone and Pumba kick butt. Rafiki kicks butt. Uh, Rafiki kicks butt, and then um, scarf. This looks familiar, so. Uh, Simba lands up. Okay, I'll put that actually over here. Simba ledge held onto by Scar. Scar, and we have this looks familiar. And, um, Scar, Scar reveals he killed Mufasa. And uh, Simba, Simba jumps off, gets overpowered Scar, pushes him. I think he pushes him into the flames. Oh, um, this was this happened because um, there was lightning lightning during this whole thing lightning lightning equals fire okay um, uh, happened the dude in chronological come on lightning equals fire scar um, Throws or th throw, hits Simba with uh, t tinders, with burning tinder. Cheap shot! Okay, cool, 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 cool. The Simba overpowers Scar and pushes him into, I think it is that, um, no, Simba overpowers Scar. And pushes on him and stands over him. I'll just put overpower Scar. And then he says, tell, makes Scar tell uh, the pride he killed Mufasa. And then... I killed Mufasa, and then I think this is what happens. 
Um, then he goes as uh, Simba. Oh yes, yeah, Simba tells Simba tells Scar to to Scar to run away and never come back and never return. He tries. Then he tries to go to. Uh, then we all just go here. He attempts to some Scar attempts to go back to the hyenas. Oh, uh, part of the thing he said it was the hyenas. He did blame them. He did blame hyenas. Um, okay, and then the hyenas, and then the hyenas kill Scott. And then... It rains, fire, well, yeah, and we'll just say King uh, Simba takes the throne. Pride Rock. Yay! Roars all around. Okay, so let's see how I did. Let us see how I did. Okay. So this would be, so basically what this would be is plot point map. So what we would land up doing is, can you see here on the left-hand side, it says map one. So I would rename this, so I'll say plot, plot. Okay. And then what we would do if we wanted to add to it, like, bits of like, okay, about the, the score and things like that, then I would go and I would duplicate it. And then I would say, um, plot plus score notes, or something like that. And then we would use exactly this as the the base version and then go and add stuff on. Okay, but that that's my idea of how, how it would go. So for the first step is the plot thing. And um, if we were going to do Dune, uh, I would probably have it pre-diagrammed and we can go and talk about what I want to put around or at least something because uh, that's a long ass stream. But then again, that's what I do. So I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to do Dune. But listen, this just the whole point of, of this idea was to see if I got the, um, the plot right. So uh, let's see if I can. So let's just have a little... BR to B. I will put this here so I can figure out what I want to do. Um, that's all the music. The Lion King full movie. Beautiful playlist. This land morning lesson with Mufasa. The morning report. Fucking shit face. Um. I think we've got all of them. It's got the plot points right here in this playlist. That's pretty cool. It's got it in clips. So we could do play all. I think you guys can hear me still. So play all. Okay. And let us put the audio to start coming through my headphones. Oh, is this not plugged in? That doesn't help.
Okay, yeah, that I just messed up, messed up big time. Uh, okay, I was trying to plug something in and I landed up turning my computer off. Um, listen. Oopsie. <laughs> okay, I just need to fix some some stuff up here. Um, uh, I, I I turned my computer off. The the thing that Gordon, um, the, that Gordon always threatens to do, I did to myself. So I'm going to turn this camera off and get into virtual camera. Okay. Come on. Come now. Everything is broken. Stop the virtual camera. Wait, let me remove this. And add my virtual camera. Wow, what a fucking loser. There we go. What a train smash. Don't click the off button while you're doing stuff on your computer. Pro tip. The oopsiest of poopsies. Exactly. Um, I do wonder if I'm going to use my virtual thing for this. You know what? I think I'm gonna just uh, go play it safe after that that bungling idiocy, um, and I'm going to do the normal share screen of the video over here. So actually, let's see if I got them right. Let's see if I go to the playlist. Okay, and uh, let me just get the reason that I was trying to change the audio at all so that it can come through my headphones. And now I can put them on. Now I'm complete. Okay. Okay. Let us take this away. And we go here. Present, present, there you go, and there. okay, and we will just do this, we're not going to show, I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to minimize, I mean, not minimize, I'm going to mute the stream, the, the video, because it will be copyright claimed anyway, there we go. So this was the, the opening scene, Circle of Life. Okay, so yeah, we got the Circle of Life. Cool is presented to all of the peoples. Yay, good times, Rafiki. And there's there's the little mark. He puts the mark on the head, which becomes the main, as as little Chinsia decided. And then yay, do 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 do. Yay, yay, yay! Still the great stuff. Lion King. Okay, then. We have this land that's actually one. It's a. Uh, they go and is this really it? They go to.
No, that's not that's not in in. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so that that that's when that's when you see the first. Sorry, that's when you see his his picture immediately. He doesn't wipe it out. This is Simba's board. I missed it out. That's one. That's one thing. So I'm gonna put I'm gonna put it. Go here to diagramming. Share this term instead. Presentation of Simba and there's no scar monologue. You first get this. This is. I hope this is this is correct because this is the way that the. We don't get this. No, this is not right. Sorry, uh -uh. this is not right. We can't use this. We can't use this. We can't use this as our our reference because it's not the the whole movie. Um, let's see. Oh, remember Spirit? Lion King full movie in English <clears throat> is, and it puts it <coughs> as a playlist. So let's see. There we go. Opening scene. So there is the scar monologue. Got it right. Okay, and let's see if I can get the whole scene. Okay, let's see if I can go. Let's put the. Should I put this on? Okay, so he goes. Life's not fair, is it? Um. And he goes. Even you will not see the light of another day, and you, and then. Life's not fair, is it? When I shall, oh, when I shall never be king. I didn't get that, obviously. And you shall never see the light of another day. Okay. Then Zazu comes in. So let's just check, just going, checking back here. Scar monologue. Okay, we got that. Zazu announces Mufasa. So we're there. Didn't, didn't your mother ever tell you not to play with your food? I should have known that line, but we're not doing the dub, but I will do, the, I suppose I'll do the dub at some point. Didn't mother ever tell you not to play with your food? And then I'm here to announce that the King Mufasa is on his way. Well, adieu to you, <coughs> Lion King 2 hater. Okay. Uh, announce that King Mufasa is on his way. And uh, better have a good excuse for why you weren't at the presentation. You, uh, Zazu, you made me lose my lunch. Okay. As he's as mad as a hippo with a hernia. Um, I quiver with fear. Oh, I remember. Why did I not want to say that one? Okay, scar drop him. That's the thing that I spoke about that I really enjoyed. Ugh, what a great freeze scene. Does he say adieu? Oh, adieu. Oh, he does say that. He does. Adieu. Well, does he say adieu? Because it. he says, and you shall never see. I shall not be king. You shall never see the light of another day. And you. I, I never heard adieu. Okay, I'm not going to go there and play it because, okay. It's mad as hip over the hernia. That's a beautiful freeze frame. Uh, well, if it isn't my big brother descended from on high to mingle with the commoners. Sarabi so and I didn't see you at the presentation of Simba. Oh, there you are. Him okay, cool, cool. That, that, that makes sense, okay. See now, little Chins here just goes, and you. He says, and you. Okay, so commoners, Sarabi, mingle from a pong, from on high with it. Why did it says I'm live on to, on on an X? Okay, presentation of Simba, and then he goes bad back. You know, it must have slipped my mind. Slippery, slippery as your mind gets, you're the king's brother. You should have been first in line. I was first in line. Um, until the little hairball was born. That hairball is my son and your future king. 
Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, I shall practice my curtsy. I think that's pretty funny. Don't turn your back on me, Scar. No, Mufasa, you shouldn't turn your back on me. Is that a challenge? Um, I think that's... Oh, then he goes... Um, ah, come on, come on. He goes... Uh, when it comes to brute strength, I'm on the shallow end of the dream, the, the gene pool. And that's another thing uh, that little Chinsia didn't understand what gene pool was because she was little. So um, I, I used to think dream pool because there is a there is a a, a, a a pond or whatever behind him. And that's where he's like, he's saying he'll be on the shallow end of that pool. That's where he's going to. That's what little Chinsy did, okay? Sorry I'm late. That My eldest stayed home sick and we were watching John Wick together. That's cool. That's a good uh, medicine to go through. Okay. So don't turn your back on me, Scar. No, Mufasa, you shouldn't turn your back on me. Oh. You're supposed to say temper, temper. I wouldn't dream of challenging you. See, I forgot that line. While not as far as brains go, I got the lion's share. But when it comes to brute strength, I'm afraid I'm at the shallow end of the gene pool. Okay. There's one in every family, sire. So blah, blah, blah. Okay. Cool. We're good. Lion King opening scene. That's it. I got this wrong. Rafiki draws Simba. Okay. Rafiki draws Simba. I got it wrong. So I'm going to put it in brackets here. Okay. On the bay of let's say. Every time he gets duty, you can take him out and beat him. Zazu! There's one in every family, sire. Two in mine. I love that. Oh, hi! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Rafiki draws Simba. Then everything the light touches. Okay, so do they not put the him waking up? Yeah, I love the waking up. Okay. And there's the sun's up, you're up. And I always wanted to check if I could see the other lions in the background there. If I could see where Nala was, there's Nala. At least that's what I think she is. Okay. So cute. Um, and then it's yeah, okay. I love the yawn here. It's very that's what lines literally sound like when the yawning was great. And then you're okay. I guess they give you an idea of how they go up there. Then there's some path, and then it with the music over here. Okay, everything like touches. What about that shadowy place? Let's see. Beyond our borders. You must never go there. I thought a king a king can do whatever he wants. There's more to being a king than doing whatever you want all the time. Okay. Mm. Okay, so did I get that right? Let's just check here. Simba learns about the kingdom. Yay! Okay, so that was the everything the light touches. Simba learns about the circle of life. Pouncing this. And it says a pouncing this. And so add it. Pouncing this. Okay. Hyenas in the Pride Lands. How could I not have put the pouncing this? And like literally that's exactly what happens. Like one of the best things we're pouncing. Pouncing. 
Oh, you can't be serious. This is, you can see it's most replayed. And then he goes, turn around. <laughs> and it's Zazu, news from the underground, which is also funny because it comes from like a, a mole. Okay. <laughs> mm hmm. This is where he says you can. One master, you can chase those slobbering mangy. Oh, slobbering mangy whatevers. Okay. Oh, sorry, I'm not showing you what, what I'm looking at. <laughs> I was finally getting to the point, point where he said you can change those, chase those slobbering mangy beasts or something from dawn until dusk. Okay. Did I get this right? Let's go back here. Simba goes to Scar. Cool. Let's see. Or do we see Scar a little bit? No, he does. He goes straight to Scar. Okay. I'm going to rule it all. Goody. Then he goes. Scar, if I'm king, what do I make you? A monkey's uncle. Okay. Oh, so cute. Ah, oh, yeah. Simba, don't go there. Promise me. Oops, I've said too much. An elephant graveyard is too no young for a place for a young prince. You run along and have fun now. Remember, it's our little secret. I suppose we should I should write that in there. Oh let's go. It's our little secret. Secret. Okay, then he goes to Nala. The next one I've got is he goes to Nala. I can split screen. No, but you won't be able to see. But it's fine. I can do system. There we go. There. We can see them side by side now. Okay. Okay, I've just updated that so that I'm at the bottom. Okay, da, 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 elephant, elephant graveyard. Skull tells Simba about the elephant graveyard. The Lion King bath scene. <laughs> Why would you call it the Lion King bath scene? Gosh. Like, re relax. Okay, so she goes to get Nala and it's, you can see all the, all the lionesses. Great. See, it's so cute. Okay, cool. Uh, I want to show that around the waterhole. What's so great about the waterhole? Oh, there was a... Oh, how did I not notice? You're messing up my main. Can we go now? <clears throat> Better not be any place dumb. Around the waterhole. What's so great about the waterhole? Yeah, yeah. Bring Zazu with you. Okay, so they find out they're betrothed. And then they use Nala, just can't wait to be king. But yeah, this is where they go affianced. You two are going to get married. And you go. <laughs> I can't marry her. She's my friend. Okay, cool. Roll into the elephant graveyard. Oh, I love this when she goes, pinned you, pinned you again. I guess I should have, I should have noted here that um, pinned you because that comes back as a plot point. Come back here. 
can do. Pindia again. Uh, smaller. Oh, another another silly early early childhood thing that my my brain decided is that Pindia again was the password. <laughs> into the the elephant graveyard she said pinji again and that caused the graveyard to somehow open up to them yeah thanks five-year-old chinsu that's funny okay um some bernardo discovered by the okay so let's see the elephant graveyard so they go into the elephant graveyard okay it's pinji pinji again <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Pinch again. So good. It's so good. Okay. Elephant graveyard. Okay. And then they start exploring. Oh, I should have noted laugh in the face of danger. Uh, I should put that in here. Some laughs in the faces. It's not a real plot point, is it? I don't know. Laughs in the because she uses it later. She goes laugh in the face of danger. Okay, Simba. Simba laughs in the face face of danger. Um, discovered by the hyenas, or do they discover the hyenas? Whatever the point is, that's that's. Oh, ha! Oh, I got it wrong. Zazu catches up. No, I got it wrong. I got it wrong. So that's like that's ninety seven. I'm on ninety seven here. Zazu catches up. So take this out. Simba and Nala in trouble. No, so I got this wrong. Simba and Nala. Uh, Zazu catches up to. Uh, catches up to. Nala, Simba and Nala. Tries to convince it to leave. And the uh, Simba, Nala, and Sazu came and they tried to leave, chasing shoes. Got it wrong. Oh, he did the laugh in the face of danger, actually. That actually comes in. Here. Come here. Come into this. No. Here. It doesn't want to be a sub item of this. Enter. Okay. Ta da. Okay. Simba laughs in the face of danger. And then the hyenas laugh back. I should have known. I should have known. Should have got a rat. I laugh in the face of danger. <laughs> he gets it right. Because Zahin is laughing. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, okay, this is how we... I don't remember each of their names. Because I know Shenzi and Ed. But I always forget the middle one. Make man a curb sandwich, right? It's not now. Bonsai. Okay, bonsai is the one I always forget. Uh, bonsai. So I'll put the hyenas here. Bonsai. Shenzi. And it. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, uh -huh. He goes, ha, 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 ha. Trio of trespassers. 
that's pretty funny. You can't do anything to us. Technically, they can. Oh, I remember I, I, I didn't understand uh, Ixnay on the Upit's Day. I didn't know what he meant by Ixnay on the Upit's Day when I was younger. But now I do. <laughs> Ixnay on the Upit's Day. Who you call an Upit's Day? Ah, so good. Okay. <laughs> um... I love the I love all of the the puns here. That was what I was going to do as the key jokes. Just make mine a curb sandwich. Did we get Did we uh get this order to like, order to go? Cause there it goes. Okay, then they run. Derek O. <laughs> there it goes. Okay, and they run, and the music is amazing. Uh huh. <laughs> He goes over to the birdie boiler. Oh no, not the birdie boiler. And then I guess we should say I chased Simba Trust. I'm going to put the birdie boiler here. Boiler. Oh, I remember already here. Yeah, birdie boiler. Um, Simba scratches. I think it, it might be before. Simba scratches Shinzi. Okay to save Lala. Let's see if it, if it happens after this. Okay, yeah. Then he's, he saves Lala, yeah. That's the scratch. Then they go into a cage point. Oh no, I made it all the way to the Upid stays. And here is the most replayed thing actually, look. Where he roars. He tries to roar. Do it again. Do it again. Rawr! Okay. Oh, I didn't know that we saw Scar. Maybe we go fast to save the day. Hyenas run off. We see Scar. Yeah. We see Scar. Uh, disappointed. Loved. Okay. Cool. Then there's, what do they call this one? Mufasa's lesson. Oh, very cute. Zazu takes Nala home. This is like underneath the Zazu's lesson. Okay. Disciplines. You deliberately disobeyed me. Then nobody messes with your dad. Oh, here was another thing because I didn't. I thought that he was actually hurting him. Yeah, in this because that looked really painful. So and he goes, ah, dad. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's sore. He he's hurt him. So that would be in the in the quirky, silly, brain things that the child did. Put Nala in danger. I was just trying to be brave like you. I'm only brave when I have to be. Being brave doesn't mean you go looking for trouble. Okay, there we go. Should never be bringing it actually about. Uh, so then I, would, I should put something more there. Being brave. Doesn't mean And he was, uh, Mufasa was afraid. Simba, okay, cool. But you're not scared of anything I was today. Guess even kings get scared, huh? But you know what? Hyenas are even scareder. Oh, because nobody messes with your dad. Oh, so cute. Okay, there you go. And then they start 
about the stars. Look down, Rose. Those stars are really yes. Just remember those kings will always be there to guide you. Um, those kings will always. This is that if I'm thinking of June diagramming June this way, even in in this scarce detail. Oh my god, it's gonna be bad. Always be there, always be there watching over you to guide you. Sorry, to guide you. Okay. I, I think what I will do is then diagram Jordan Peterson's discussion of it over this. Okay, then. Yes, Scar gives a haunch, zebra haunch to the hyenas. Be prepared, Scar reveals his plan. Scar is surrounded by idiots. Okay. There. Zebra haunch. Wasn't even like there was a lone Scar. And then he goes. Starts his song. Be prepared. Okay. It's to die for. Okay, that's what it. That's what it, I should have known. It's to die for. Okay, Scar tells me faster that Simba is in the court. Okay, well, where are we? Be prepared. Scar reveals his plan. Simba meets Scar in the gorge. So let's see. It's to die for. How does that happen? I, I don't think I've used it enough. How, what was the ruse here? Now you wait here. Your father has a marvelous surprise for you. Okay, Simba. Is waiting. Surprise. According to Scar. Practices his roar while he waits. Okay, I got that part right at least. I can act surprised. Everybody knows about Dutch. Okay. Also, we could say that uh, it's revealed. Scar reveals he knows. He knows about the hyenas. Might want to work on that little roar of yours. Okay. I have to put that here. Whatever, that spell, spelling's bad. Then the stampede happens. Okay, wait, right. He makes the stampede here. Yeah, it's the die fall, and then the stampede happens. Oh, no, we see them create the stampede. And the stampede, and then you see that. You see the hyenas do it. Let's go. And stampede happens. Okay. And then he says, Simba's down there. Okay, so I thought that Nazazu was knocked out immediately. Okay, so Buster that Simba's in the gorge. Actually, it should go, there should be an extra step here. Zazu flies to uh, Simba. Okay, so I'm at like 96 now. I'm wrong. Simba. And tells him his dad's on the way. And then he tells Mufasa where he is. Okay. And so they go there. Wait, wait. 
he flies there, sees him, says, help's on the way. Then he goes, I'll go back for help, blah, 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 blah. And he gets knocked the fuck out. Oh, God, it's so scary. Uh, wait, where is Zazu? Where does Zazu get knocked the fuck out? There. There he gets knocked the fuck out. There, <laughs> as you can see. Okay. Oh, no. Yes. Then you get this hope. I remember that hope. God damn it. Long live the king. No. Okay, cool. I got that right. Then Scar kills Mufasa. Simba goes to Mufasa's body. Simba tells us his fault and exiles him. He's run away and never return. Oh, God, it's too much. No, I can't. Oh, no, run away. And then he gets chased. There's Cactus Butt. I guess uh, since I just chased, obviously, they fail. Okay, I need to say why they fail, which is the the thorns are why they fail. Okay. Then Cactus Butt. And then... Scar tells the Pride Lands. Yes, I got it right. That Mufasa and Simba have died. Then we see this. Simba. Uh, Rafiki smudges Simba. I got it. I almost forgot it. Okay, then um, Timon and Pumba find, find uh Passed out by the desert by Simone and Pumba when they are bowling while bowling for buzzards. Okay. Mm-hmm. Then they give him they put you gotta put your head past in your behind. Okay, and then Zazu. Oh, this is where Zazu singing to Scar happens. I got that wrong. We're at, oh God, I'm at like 95 now. Uh, yeah, they did no worries. And so this is what happens. Zazu singing to Scar happens after. This is where Zazu singing to Scar happens. Grows up. Do they lay in the grass yet? No. So, uh, Zazu sings to Scar. And we also have hyenas uh, dismissed our chase talk. Uh, well, hyenas tell Scar they're hungry, complain about the lionesses not hunting okay eat zazu <laughs> okay and then oh look they even cut it badly okay but they can't go hunt okay okay so there simba and pumba lays in the grass okay i got it at that part at least then they laugh and they talk about the stars in the sky. And then Simba goes off here. Okay. He should go off here. Fireflies, they got stuck up on that bluish black thing. Come on. There. He goes and lies. Come on. Rafiki learns that he's alive. Yeah. Cool. Got that part. Sent travels to Rafiki in his tree. Lion King Simba meets. Okay, so wait. Whoa, whoa. Simba meets. Simba meets Nala. Okay, so they put that all together. I split this into Timon Pumba hunt for grabs. Then 
Nala hunts Pumba. Then Simba rescues by, by fighting Nala. Okay. Oh, and I'll just put this under here. Nala fights um, Simba. It's Nala pins. And so remembers him. So we've got that. We've got those little li lines that come through, even for a child to just understand that they, oh, that's from earlier, blah, blah. Really works out. Okay. Then they meet. Oh, this is cute. I gravel at your feet. It's not gravel. It's gravel. And don't. He's not a king. <laughs> and then he is. Okay, can you feel the love tonight? Okay, then Nala expects him to. So actually, this over, over here, Nala. Okay, so that's I'm taking a point ninety four. I'm on ninety four. Nala, um, Nala tells Timon and Pumba that Simba is king. Is a king. Expects him to come back. Okay. Can you feel the love tonight? And then they argue. Simba and Nala argue. And then, oh, he didn't put it away. He didn't, they didn't um, put this in a different one. Simba bumps into Rafiki. So this is where he goes, he's yelling. He says, you said you'd always be there for me. And then, Asante sana, squash banana, and then he follows him. I think he shows Simba how to speak with his father. Asante sana, squash banana. Okay, he lives in you. Look harder. Okay. No. Okay, so is this how it is? <gasps> That's how it works. Okay, so they, they ha he has the whole he has the whole vision, and then it goes straight to them sleeping. So instead of the vision, the King of Pride of Kung Fu Sun, but remember who you are. That happens, but we don't get the. That's I put this running thing immediately in. I did. Okay, I pass can hurt, but he no. Do we have that? Hmm. Does the smack thing happen? Yeah. Okay, never mind. I did get it right. I did get it right. Nala, then the, this is the one that's got an awesome song. Do 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 do. And then he sees that they're there. Okay, cool. I did get that right. Simba sees the change in the pride lab and drawed by Norman Simone and Pumba. Okay, now this is where it's wrong. I knew it. I knew I was getting it wrong. So we are on 93. Um, what do you want me to do? Dress and drag and do the hula? They need... Yeah, so there. That, that, that was wrong. Okay. So I got that wrong. Timon dresses and drag and does the hula to distract the hyenas. Why does Nala straight up give Simba bedroom eyes? Because that is, can you feel, she can feel the love tonight. And then they sneak by. Okay, to distract the hyenas. I need to put that in there that uh, with the hyenas distracted. Also, hello, Nas. With the hyenas distracted. Simba, Simba, not a kid go. Sarabi, I think. And then he sees Sarabi get boosted by, um, 
Buscar. If you were half the king that Mufasa was. I'm Christ the king. Don't let AJ know you're doing this. You'll get him all wound up. What? There's not, I'm not ripping it apart. I'm actually appreciating it. And and he, you know what? He'll get upset about it. AJ will be upset because I got certain plot points wrong. I put them in the wrong order. So he can get upset with me about that and I deserve it. Okay. Simba returns. Simba, oh, God. She even put the word conference. Okay. Intervenes. Scar realizes Simba. Okay. Look. Conference is alive. And he blames it on the, oh, there, that's when he blames it on the, blames it on the hyenas. It was all an accident. And then he says, Simba confronts Scar. Uh, no, no, no. I think it's, they think I'm, a, no, they think I am. The hyenas think Scar is king. Oh, Scar reminds Scar. Out that the hyenas think Scar is king. Okay. Sissy fur to sissy furry hypno. Look, it's not. Just the eyes that that was, you know. It was just it they came naturally. Okay, um da, da, da. oh now they figure out. So there, yeah. Uh Scar realizes Simba's alive. Scar points out that Hanyas thinks Scar is king. Uh and then or I would say Scar confronts Simba. Simba Simba admits. It was an accident. It's not true. Tell me it's not true. And then he goes, murderer. Okay. Uh, do you deny it? Okay. Scar. Scar calls Simba murderer. Okay, then pushes him down and then he goes, this looks familiar. Okay, that's actually wrong. So I got the I got the the, the fire thing wrong. He was off this off the side of the of the cliff already because he was backing away from Scar. So this lands up on the ledge. This landing up on the ledge, that is over here. Now this looks familiar. Okay, and then Simba! And then there's lightning and fire. Okay. Got it wrong. We're on 93. This looks familiar. Where have I seen this before? Then. Long live. Oh. Long live the king. This is how your father lived before he died. Looked before he died. So, what? Simba's. No, that's the norm. That is the. I got it wrong. Okay, I th fine. I'm going to give myself 90 for now. There's a couple sus things in the movie. He leaves that spell six and the, and the priest. The priest? The priest? What about him? About Rafiki? Whatever. I love this movie. And you can't make me not. I love it. Uh, reminds him that the pride that he killed his father. So this, we had the lightning and fire. I got it wrong. This is all. The fight happens. Okay, so that's how it works. Held down by Scar. This looks familiar. And then we say Simba. The priest is the little mermaid though. Okay. Simba. Realizes Scar killed his dad. Father. Okay. Uh, overpowers. Scar. Okay. Which also just somehow just. He just did a massive pull up. No. Pah! Massive pull up. 
and just tell them the truth cool so we got that okay um okay no i got the fight wrong because they only fight once he says i killed mufasa that's what happened overpower scar see look i put this scar reveals he killed mufasa no that only that comes in here the fight comes after scar reveals he killed mufasa Silva, simba overpowers scar scar blames there okay it goes Simba makes Scar tell Pride he killed Mufasa. That happens. Overpower Scar. Mm -hmm. Scar reveals he killed Mufasa. Then Simba makes Scar tell the Pride. Simba tells Scar to run away and never return. Wait, no, then they fight. That's when they fight. Okay, so it's not about never return. It's Simba takes Scar, kill Mufasa, Scar back the hyenas. Oh, we don't dare the hyenas. Scar attempts goes, nope, those are wrong. I was so wrong. We're out of, we're on 89% now. Simba makes Scar tell the pride he killed Mufasa. And then the fight ensues. And pride and hyenas. Okay. So he gets attacked. Oh, you see? Oh, I've, I've also left it out. Fight between. So let's just say the fight. Fight scene! Oh, we could say the battle for Bride Rock, but let's see. Uh, go. Um, Simba is attacked. Oh, but he did! He did tell him to run away and never return. I can hear you, and then they can hear you. I killed Mufasa. Oh, and then they start fighting. But then what happens to Scar? Oh, then. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, they call me Mr. Pig. Okay, okay, hold on. Rafiki kicks butt. Fight scene. Rafiki kicks butt. Um. Simba by hyenas. Timon and, and Pumba kick by. I'll put that in there, okay? Uh, wait. Um, let me out. Let me out. Kick butt and release Zazu. Okay. Rafiki kicks back. I got that part right. Because he comes in, he goes like. Actually, look, I put them where Fiki kicks butt before this. So Rafiki should be here. Okay, cool. Rafiki kicks butt. Then the battle for Pride Rock, Simba versus Scar. Haha, -ha, Scar tries to run away. So it's actually fight scene. Scar tries to run away. We can go Simba. This is Scar fight. Okay, and that is what happens. Uh, run away, Scar. Oh, this is where he's uh, Scar is cornered. Blames the hyenas. Okay. Uh. Run away, Scar. Does he please say so? Run away. Hyenas are the real enemy. I uh, wish. Oh, okay, so then. Oh, that's how it happens. God damn it. I'm so wrong. I was so wrong. Scar is cornered, blames the hyenas. Um, Simba. Where is the exile stuff? Did I take it away? Okay. Simba tells Scar to run away and never return. And then the cheap shot happens. Then the cheap shot happens. Scar uh, basically kicks, smacks. Uh, Burning tinder into 
Simba's eyes. Cheap shot. Isi Bazi. Well, they, they didn't use all of them Zulu. Some were Swahili. Um, a lot of them were Swahili. The the one the intro song had Zulu in it, uh, but the others were so. Isibazi for Scar. I didn't even know that Isibazi was a, was a Scar. I, I I would have. I do have some Zulu vocabulary. Like in Yorka means snake. Okay, so uh, scars to burning tinder into some kovu then. Oh yeah, is that what, what does kovu mean? Does kovu mean scar? Um, burning tinder into, Max burning tinder into Simba's face. Cheap shot. Okay, you're using Google Translate. Oh, okay. Cheap shot. And then they fight. Do, do, bam, bitch slaps all around. And then Simba flips him. Slaps all around. Simba flips Scar over the itch. <laughs> Down to the hyenas. Okay, and my friends, the hyenas kill Scar. Friends, and then Ed is really funny. And the fire is then hyenas kill Scar. Simba takes over Brad Rock, uh, roars her around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do I'll release my dub. Me, 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 me. <laughs> and then all the music goes up and roars all around. Do, 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 do. And then Kiara is brought out. Roars all around. Nala and Simba presents Kiara. Ta-da! And also, what well, they use the name Kiara, like a pfft, after they have Kovu, it's really cool. And Kiara, yeah. Okay, this is a property of Walt Disney. So they just said this, and that 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 makes it okay. Um, I guess they don't they don't learn any um they don't earn they don't earn anything from this uh, by putting it up here. Disney does. Okay, so um. That's it. I was wrong for some of the things, guys. I wasn't completely right. That was the whole idea. I'm going to clean this up backstage, okay? Make it uh, use titles that they, they used, like the presentation of Simba. Scar monologue, I think I'll keep some of them. I will change to and break them down further. And that's what, the, what a plot, literally a plot line should look like. It's literally a line left to right. We can go and put little connectors in where we see like Pindia and Pindia again. So, you know, like you see where that comes from. So we could go and do something like this. That's what a plot diagram would land, give us doing, uh, give us doing, <laughs> would give us. Uh, we would be able to go, yeah, then roll into the elephant graveyard, Pindia. So this, this is just a demonstration of what we would use a plot diagram for. Okay. So we go and we take him there. Uh, we would go to where she finds, oh, it's called Kills Mufasa. So we would go all the way to where Simba and, uh, Nala meet. There. Pinji again. So there would be that, like a thing like that. We would go, but look, that's where they came from. Memory, memory, okay, there, memory, okay, uh, we could have another one where we go, uh, Simba and Nala lose Zazu, blah, blah, 
Roll into the Elven Graveyard. That we could even have, like, obviously, you can see the plot line. It came from Scar. This happened because of Scar. Like, you could go and put lines together for that. So this only happens because this happened. Yeah, uh, well, Simba and Nala go. Well, they go into the graveyard. Simba would not have gone to the graveyard. Yard. So this is how we would use it. Like, oh, so-and-so would not have done this if this wasn't here. So we would have maybe a, a kind of... Um, kind of arrow to denote that maybe like a solid arrow means this to the graveyard without or we just write it out like I'm doing this now slip okay uh, uh, uh. okay Zazu has to a company name so then they have to lose Zazu then Simba this uh, laughs in the face of danger actually does come back when they're arguing. So you could do that. That's the whole point of having the plot in, mapped out like this, that you land up. You could have little things that that thread back. So, you, oh, he lives in you, and you're going to put the line in. But I'm very tired now. I, um, I almost didn't stream this today. I, if you, yeah, I, I will share this as it is um in the di in the um description but i will clean it up as soon as i have time and then at some point i don't know if it will be next week uh or much further in or, or whether i'll start june next week and june will be very serious i'm not going to try and do it from memory first and then go over that's not how it's going to go i just did this memory thing because of um of uh just how i want to i wanted to see how if i could really go through the plots of this movie it was an extra thing um thanks for the stream kitty get some sleep thanks thanks josh thanks so much for for coming by um and for helping me along and yeah so basically this like like i, like I said this is what what i'm doing for this format is we would have a plot and then we would have say plot and score so basically the plot will be the core of everything here Oh, as in like the storyline, and I, and I and I even say plot to be like the timeline. It's not just the plot; it's the timeline of the scenes. You're going through scenes. Um, that's what I want to be doing in when we go through movies. And again, I'm wondering. I don't. Yeah, considering how it was fun doing this live. Now, I'm I'm still trying to determine whether I want to do this do Dune live or whether I want to go over what over a diagram I've done previously uh, of Dune live. You know what I'm saying? So pre-diagram the Dune and then talk about it and add commentary along. So maybe get the plot done and then start with the commentary on Tuesday next week. So that's what I'm thinking I'll do. This, this whole using Lion King as the first one was to figure out the format. I'm still trying to figure out whether that I'm going to continue with this and put more into this. I don't know. Maybe I should while I, okay, that's it. I've just made the decision while I diagram Dune in the background. Okay. We will just continue with this to see, to see what we can add to a diagram of a movie so that I'm still developing the format without going and actually doing the Dune one yet. Okay, and the reason, if you weren't here earlier, the reason I want to diagram Dune is because um, at some point in the near future, Ali and I will be doing a book club sort of thing where we uh, talk about, um, we're reading the book, the Dune books, or book at least, the first one, um, because we had so many questions around the movie and things like that. We wanted to understand where it all comes from. So we wanted to have the movie as a baseline that we discuss. And then when we go into the book, we go and we won't probably won't, <laughs> I'll try to diagram the book. I will, um, because it's exciting, but, uh, and it's a complex. So we'll see what happens with that. But yeah, basically, Hey, this is me diagramming a film. That was it. 
uh, it's not fully diagrammed. Like I've said, this is just a plot form. The, the initial, the initial um, challenge was diagram the plot points of a movie, and I did. Okay, that's it. But this is what I would want to do for, say, every episode of Wheel of Time if I was going to go through them. That we would go scene by scene and we would talk about, we could have like, literally, we. I haven't done all the different things I would want to do for this. Like you would have a character for each scene. You would have characters that come down and then you would, you would have themes. You would have, you could break it down minusculely. I mean, a movie, just think about how you could break a movie down. Um, and uh, for those of you wondering why I do that, um, just go and see my previous solo stream where I explain it's because I like to, and because um, anything that can be broken down into more understandable parts is fun. That doesn't mean that you can't enjoy the whole of the movie. It's just, I, I enjoy breaking things down and, and appreciating them in, in high definition. Anyway, have a nice life. And uh, if you have not subscribed, go and subscribe. Go and subscribe, you shit. Uh, it's supposed to say go and subscribe, you shit, but I don't know if you can hear that very loud. Um, yeah. Uh, I think that is all. That will be all. Have a nice laugh. Oh, look, look, look. I even dressed up to say goodbye to you. Um, okay, thanks. Bye. I will see you on Thursday doing a think with the thinkers. Um, if you have nothing to watch between then. We know that that's not true. Uh, go on to the No One Asked You podcast to catch up on Mistborn. Um, or go on to the Thinkers Gaming channel to check out our uh, Descent to Avernus uh, campaign that's going on. The next episode will be recorded this weekend. And then there is also gaming that's happening there. Dorcas and BMO are gaming. All of those things, but uh, like and subscribe. Go and subscribe, you shit. Have a nice, have a nice life. Okay, thanks, bye.